He has commanded us. 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 Oh, man. Woke up this morning <laughs> to straight blasphemy, bruh. Like. Oh my gosh, you know, the first thing out of my mouth, though, this morning was praises to my father, um, thanking him for waking me up. When I came to my Facebook, scrolling my wall, I see this post, <laughs> this post um, by a somewhat new friend, someone that requested to be my friend, okay? Now, um, let me find it. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Because it, I lost it because I went off of that page. But I'm sure I can find it because I can just go to my profile here and click on activity log and go to comments. And take me right to it because it's the last one I commented on. Okay. So, this person wrote Question anyone that says the quote, Spirit of Truth will tell you something outside the written word. Now, she capitalized written, formal, uh, with the W capitalized, and then she capitalized the W on word. Okay. Of the Most High Father. Of the Most High Father. Because sometimes that quote unquote spirit of truth is a lie. Oh wow. Really? So you just going to all out blaspheme the spirit of truth? Wow. Like, oh my gosh. The audacity of people these days bro. Like you can't change the eternal word of the father. No matter what you believe okay she says this is not to say the holy spirit won't tell you something that isn't quote unquote clearly stated she put quotations around clearly stated in the bible but the holy spirit will not tell you something that goes against the most high father's written word period really wow Wow, so you really going to put all your trust and faith in something that a man wrote. <laughs> really? A man wrote, okay? It, it has no preeminence over the Father's true word that lives within you that only comes by way of the spirit of truth. Okay, so you need to humble yourself, humble yourself down several notches because you, oh my God, you are way out of bounds with the father. You're way out of bounds and you, you call yourself, you call yourself posting that to me. I know she didn't tag me in it. She didn't tag me in it, but clearly it's to me because I've been the only one on her post telling her that not everything written in that book is the word of the most high okay that is not his infallible word you're putting your trust and faith in men okay now at this time the father has commanded his people okay we are under the authority of Yahusha HaMashiach okay And at this time, the Messiah has commanded us. He's commanded us to go forth with his word. 
His true word, okay? Because his true word has been perverted for hundreds of years, okay? The father allowed it so that you Gentiles could enjoy your blessing. But the time is up for that. Your blessing is over. Now it's time for the truth to prevail, okay? None is going to stay us. None is going to stay us. For we have been commanded by the Messiah. We are speaking the same word that all the prophets spoke. The same word that the Messiah came to speak. The same word that the disciples spoke. Without your perversion that you added to the word of the Most High. This is why we have the Holy Spirit. So that we can discern what is right and what is truth. Apart from the many lies of Satan that he has added to the so-called Holy Bible. How dare you put the Bible over his true word? How dare you put written words of men above the creator that gave you the breath of life? How dare you? What right do you think you have to put the word of a man over the creator? Have you lost the best part of your mind? You know what? I ain't got time to really get into it right now. I just wanted to say that a little bit. Because that's absolutely insane. You people need to humble yourself way the hell down. Because you're way the hell out of bounds. Man, y'all y'all about to be humiliated, okay? His true word is on the earth. But you want to believe in men. You want to believe in men. You want to put all of your trust and faith in men. Okay? And then you want to blaspheme the spirit on top of it? I can understand if you're a baby in a faith. But clearly, this ain't no baby in the faith. Clearly, this, this is a devil that has a serious conscience that has chosen to follow the word of men and reject the word of the Most High. Because now this person is blaspheming. Now you're blaspheming the spirit. You know, I still love you. Like I love my uncle. Like I love my family. Okay? But all of you are about to be humbled. You're about to be humbled. Because you think you think you know everything. But you think that I know everything. You want to project what is your reality unto me. And you can't do that. Okay? You're the one that is trusting in men, okay? You're trusting in written words, in the pages of a book that was written by mortal men, edited by mortal men, published by mortal men. The creator ain't give you the authority to do that. Just because he allowed it does not mean that he did it and it doesn't mean that he wanted you to do it. And it doesn't mean that he gave you the authority to do it. Okay? He allowed you Gentiles a time, times, and half a time. We are in the half of half of times. So now... The Messiah has commanded us to bring forth the truth in its fullness because you Gentiles have perverted his word for centuries. Your time is up. It's time for you to sit down and listen. And it's time for you to humble yourself. We had to humble ourselves. Oh, we were humbled. We have been humbled my whole life. I have been humble for 45 years upon this earth. I have been humble. 
But now I have the true word of the Father, and he has commanded us to speak these words unto you. Whether you accept it or not, but you will not have an excuse. Come judgment, and judgment is here. So you ain't got much time to make your choice. And I'm going to leave it with that. Shalom.